today we're going to do kind of a two-part video some news and then at the back end I'm gonna talk to you guys about your comments on my video with responses so let's start out with some some interesting news so back in the Bush era we had to worry about the Cheney doctrine remember that steel oil from anybody you can get it from is basically what his doctrine was well, let's go see what the new Pompeo doctrine is about the Arctic. It, it may shock you, but uh, the Arctic is no longer going to be pristine. You know what's so surprising? Well, it isn't really surprising, but what surprised me was how these right-wingers all think that humans were put on this planet to exploitate the planet at any cost. So... Pompeo has a new doctrine. Reaping the Arctic's riches is the name of it. Pompeo, quote, We're entering a new age of strategic engagement in the Arctic, complete with threats to the Arctic and its real estate, unquote. Pompeo could hardly contain his enthusiasm on the matter of resource exploitation. 13% of the world's undiscovered oil is in the Arctic. 30% of the world's undiscovered gas is in the Arctic. They, they just, they just don't get it. That oil and gas has to stay in the Arctic, in the ground. We've been warned by science that if we bring up all that oil and gas, we will cook ourselves to death. We will die from oil and gas exploration in the Arctic, as well as all the fracking oil and gas which is coming up now in the U.S. and Canada. This oil has to stay in the ground. They'll have none of that. Wealth is worth every minute of life, even if you die tomorrow doing it. It's all about the almighty dollar and making sure that you're as wealthy as the next guy so you can fly around in your snooty ass airplanes and say I'm I'm the wealthiest person in the world because I'm Trump oh or some shit like that so sick of that so that's the news for today sickening as it is that's the new Pompeo doctrine in a nutshell so many people are saying, why do you pick on Trump all the time? Why do you focus on him? Seems like you only focus on him. No, I don't focus on him. He is the one of focus. Do you understand that? He is the news of the day. It's not Obama. It's not Nixon. It's not even Eisenhower. No, it's, it's Trump. He's the one in office. He's the all-powerful God. He's the chosen one at this time. So, of course, I'm going to talk about what's happening in this time frame, because that's what this video is, is about this time frame, pretty much. It's not about 1920s or 1540s, even though we do visit the past. The main thrust is at this time, so that is who's in charge, and he himself puts him in the front of the news cycle, day after day, just like yesterday. We found out about a new scandal, yet another part of the Russia scandal. And yes, I do believe in the Russia scandal because I keep up with this stuff. I study it on an hourly, daily basis. There is definitely a connection with Trump and Russia. Do I believe there was uh, collusion? Not really, not, not since this latest one. But during the, the election, I think that Russia and Trump Putin and Trump were already buddies trying to get some deal going in uh, Russia and some money laundering and some hookers that peed on him and on and on and on. But I don't think that there was collusion on Russia's part or Trump's part. I don't believe in collusion, but I believe in the rest of it. That's, I should clarify myself because there is definitely connections with Putin and the orange man. It's just as clear as day. You don't even hardly have to read anything about it. Just put in Putin and Russia and the connection with Trump and money laundering through Deutsche Bank. 
You see, it's all there. It's, it's been there for, for months now. I've been, been paying attention to all the different legislation that's going on and the, and the court battles and the suits and the, the hearings. It's all there. And it is clear. It's as clear. You couldn't get any clearer that there's a definitely some kind of hanky-panky with money laundering and Trump hotels and Deutsche Bank and so many others. They're the mob. That's why I talk about it. Just like when Obama was in office, this, this video started in 2011. We talked about Obama almost on a daily basis, on his warmongering and his horrible treatment of our migrants on the south border and how he was manipulating people to believe one thing while he was doing another. No, I cover it well. I, believe me, I do. And I, the last thing I want to do is lie or make up stuff. This is a truth-telling station. This isn't some kind of lie just to make yourself look good. It's not about me. It's about the message. Remember, it's the message. What is the message that Pink Barrio is pushing? Real simple. Environmental stewardship around the world changing leaders into progressive leaders, educating our people up to four years of college on the public tab, universal health care, guaranteed housing throughout the world. If we spent the trillions of dollars on that instead of making war, could you imagine a peace industry instead of a war industry? <laughs> it's about Twelve dollars for every dollar that the U.S. puts in to research on anything other than military, we get twelve dollars back. Sounds pretty good to me. So that's going to end this video, and that's what I'm thinking. And I definitely do appreciate all your guys's comments, whether they agree or not. And I do not definitely uh, ban people. YouTube bans them. Uh, is banning people by what they say. There's a whole list of words you can't say now. And when you say them in your comments, YouTube puts you in spam or just gets rid of you altogether. You're just completely gone. It shows that you made a comment, but we don't know what it is. Uh, I don't know what to do. Right now, my channel, is it, it looks completely different because I'm having trouble with the, the comment section when I comment. So they've put me in a special group of people that they're trying to fix the comment section. Let's hope it works. And until next time.